Hey man, so I don't have any uh, 300 volt capacitors in stock. I'm just going to use these to show you what I'm talking about. So we've got a regular all electrolytic capacitor, and of course one side is uh, one side is the negative side, and then the other side is the positive side. So that um, that um, filter capacitor that you've got is two capacitors in the same package that probably that has um, the negative sides tied together. So this this middle these middle leads are tied together and go to that clip and then these outer two leads um, would go to uh, the other parts of the radio where the two wires connect but since you've got a positive ground I think you've got to make your own filter capacitor because I think that anything that you get nowadays is going to have a common negative side if it's an electrolytic filter capacitor like that so I think you're going to have to get two regular capacitors like this and turn them around so that the positive sides are tied together and then just twist these leads together which I can't do one-handed because I'm stupid uh, hang on a second. Uh, you can look at my roid there. That'll be pleasant, I'm sure. So, just, just, just take the, the positive side and, and twist the leads together like this. Right? So you've got, um, you've got this dealio with the negative sides on the outside like this, right? And then this... This is like um, the metal case of the old one that you took out. That will attach to the clip or somewhere on the chassis. And then th these other two leads um, will go uh, to those wires that go to the rest of the radio. And that's, um, that'll work exactly like that magical, special, positive ground um, filter capacitor that you took out of there and the polarity will be right and I think that'll get rid of your hum but like I said I'm I'm, I'm dumber than like two sacks of hammers so uh I, I may be wrong but um that's uh that's my supposition based on what we have discussed so far with this thing all right good luck man